some of the uh, of what happened in the, in the in the election? Of course, you, no matter how you turn it, mm -hmm. people are influenced even up to the last minute when they come to a, a boot to vote. Mm -hmm. People like to be certain people really is that they are die hard. Both sides are die hard supporters who no matter what I'm an alliance or no matter what I'm a DP, right? That that's all right. But then you have a a, a group of people sometimes who just want to be with the winner. So when they reach in front of a booth and they look left and they look right and if you look left and you saw Alliance had twenty people and you look right and you saw DP had five people and you're going to vote, you want to be with the winner. So you go in and you vote, and the 20 that Alliance have are, are still doing their utmost to convince you up to the last minute to vote for them. So you're going to go and vote in that direction. And at all the booths, Alliance had more people. You see, it's almost as if, if you go back and you compare it to the election before when DP won, it was just the reverse. Alliance seemed to have learned a lesson in this last election. Because the election before that, the party that was organized, because again, I think I said I always go wrong, that had the, the, the people at all, their boots, and doing and being on the board was DP. But this time, it was, it, the board had just reversed. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was Alliance now that had all their people at their, at their various, at the, all the boots, they were there. They were on the ball, they were doing all the correct things that they had to do. DP was almost like deflated. It was almost like this wasn't the Democratic Party machinery on election day that we know. So so it tells you something. Of it course tells it, you, it, it, it tells, tells you that um, that, 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 that um, probably they would they would have to regroup or their list were not uh, up to par. Or, or of maybe, course, it tells you or that maybe, it, or maybe, um, because the 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 uh, opposition in government, why did that happen? And uh, it and there's a whole list. Of yes, there's a whole lot of things. Think. Of course, we know they they, they went into election without the second, the third, and the fourth biggest vote getters. Uh -huh. That's one thing, right? Yeah. So right there, you could take out over a thousand, thousand about, five hundred, about two thousand, two thousand votes they were done. No, next after that, there was an opposition. Mm. The incumbent, the party that is in government, it doesn't matter who, always have the advantage in a, in a, in a, in a campaign. They're like a couple steps ahead of you because they could do the favors in government, right? And you in opposition. So therefore, that is another uh, thing. Number three, in all honesty, and I'm you're not putting down the, the candidates, but they didn't have, like alliance, they didn't have veteran candidates on the list. The alliance people were veteran um, candidates. Mm -hmm. All of them had gone through elections before. Mm -hmm. they are, and you saw it in the result, every one of them got over 100 votes, right? Mm -hmm. And the DP had a lot of uh, younger people, they were like, people, some of them were maybe just going in for the first time, and they didn't have that experience, they didn't have that know-how that the Alliance people had. So it was almost, in, in, in this election, it was a, a, a alliance team that was a veteran team, experienced team, well all team, and you had a DP like a, a junior team, like you know, like you know, like rookies really. Beside the, the leadership, you know, the first two or the three. Besides, when you go to, when you went through the list, the the, the the first two or three candidates, which was Sarah, Roy, and Erno, they were the three more experienced people on the DP list. Along the others um, were... Oh, okay, along with, um, with um, uh, the Weaver? Yeah, with, along with Leroy and things. But when you compare to the alliance that had so... Uh -huh. Alliance had her five commissioners was there, her two big um, the senators were there. Her, her, they had all their people. They didn't take no chance. They did it the right way. You know, they, they, they went all out. They ran a good campaign, and DP was just the opposite. DP was like basically just struggling and fighting. It, it reminds you of, of, of a year, many years ago, when DP also had that problem. But just the, 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 the night or the two nights before election, and that's when Sarah came out and emerged as their leader. When she was the number two candidate, Marcel had had a list. Claude came out just the night or two before in, in, in Madame Estate and spoke and pulled the thing and just pull enough for them to get the one seat. But this time around that time, they didn't have no 
no, 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 